All right, y'all, we get the first trailer for Andor. It's released at Star Wars Celebration. Gonna do my introduction later. This is my wife, Shannon. AKA Cosmic Thanks. All right, it's me, Matthew Hanks. Let's get in this thing. Let's do it. So, yeah, I, I, we're gonna, I'm gonna see my thoughts because I don't know what's what to expect in general. Because it's like Andor, and I like Cassian, but like, I ain't like him like that. So let's see what's going on. <laughs> something to do. I'm low-key already interested. I ain't gonna cap. Just because I saw this. Huh. Huh. Oh. What a way to start a trailer. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. Hmm. Mm hmm. 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 Bro, the setup for this trailer though, I gonna I like that. Huh. They're so proud of themselves. So fat and satisfied. Huh. They're everywhere. They're watching me now. Oh yeah, that's on my mama. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Soon enough, these days will end. Hey, that's a scars guard. <laughs> oh, it's Don't a scars no guard. Going forward. Oh. People are standing up. Oh. That's what a reckoning sounds like. Oh. Hmm. 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 That sad. What? This is more exciting than the Boba trailer. It's <laughs> <laughs> I... very satisfying, though. Huh? Huh? Oh, uh, that's it's very satisfying though. Yeah. I just love that part of it. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that a majority of this we don't see. Mm -hmm. so I said I just love that a majority of this we don't see. Him. Yeah. They're everywhere. You always gotta love new Imperials. <laughs> yeah. Probably gonna be seeing more of my Mothma too. These days will end. There will be no rules going forward. Senate, huh? It's gonna be cool. It's cool. We're gonna be seeing the Senate again. Yeah. We haven't seen the Senate since Revenge of the Sith. That's what a reckoning sounds like. Okay. So what are your thoughts on Andor? Now that we've seen some stuff, I got some thoughts. But what are yours? I don't know if okay. I think it's gonna be good, first of all, because just you know how it looks reminds me of like. A movie. Excuse me. Yes, I'm talking. I hate <laughs> No, you're good. And um, I just like that we didn't really see him for most of the time, because I don't think like it, yes, it's about him, and but I think it's more about the people around him. I don't think Taking it's Taking words from me. Yeah, I don't think it's necessarily about him. Cause like I said, majority of that was he wasn't even in it. Usually if they're highlighting a certain character, if the show's named after a certain character, they show that character the most. Mm. Like look at the Obi-Wan trailer. 
he was in 90% of that. This was more focused on the people in the different areas. So, I don't know what to expect out of this, but obviously, like, rebellion type of stuff, because they're like, oh, you know, they're out here, like, eating, they're happy, they're, they have everything, we have nothing. So, I don't know, I think it's going to be really interesting, because mm. definitely, it's definitely going to feel like Rogue One, for sure. Like, that kind of energy, that kind of vibe. So, I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of sharing some 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 of the, some of the same thoughts. Like I, like I said, I, I, look, I'm curious to see what they do with Andor, with Cassian as a character. We know his demise. We know how he dies. It's gonna be a prequel. It's gonna be cool. Mm-hmm. Just kind of seeing that because you know that's obviously like it's like when you look at like Lord of the Rings, right? Like you see Bilbo, Bilbo dies, but then you go back and watch The Hobbit. It's like a prequel, so you know how he ends. But it's cool to see all the stuff before that. So it's the same thing with this, right? But honestly, I'm I'm excited for this. Not so much for Cassian, but like you said, for everybody else that's gonna come from this. Yeah. Every because you know we can see some the potential for other spinoff shows. Mm-hmm. You know, from the companion characters that we may see from this, it's gonna right. be really cool to get more lore on Cassian. Because if I'm being real with you, the more I watch, like the more I watch Rogue One, Cassian was was like my least favorite character. If I'm being honest with you, I was more interested in like Chirrut and um. And it's, I keep forgetting the, the other guy's name, the guy with the gun. And, like, Jin, obviously, she's the main character. And, hell, I was even more interested in K2 than I was Cassian. If I'm being real with you, I'm going to be honest with you. But I am intrigued, though. And I am interested to see more about his character. Because maybe after I see this, yeah. I'll have more of, a, of an attachment to his character. Yeah. And I'll like his character more. I feel like it'll definitely give us... I'm sorry, Riz Ahmed's character. I didn't mean to cut it. Riz no. Ahmed's character, the pilot. Yeah. I, I was interested in his story, too. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. No, I think this will definitely give us a new kind of view on Cassian. And kind of make us understand how he, like, how he operates. And like how he becomes the person he is in Rogue One. Yeah. And kind of seeing that story and how that builds and, you know. Yeah, and I, th- and I think that that's the important part, though, is that we get to see that. Yeah. You know? But it definitely looks really interesting. Like, the cinematography looks beautiful. The music sounds Can we talk great. about that trailer, though? The actual construction of the trailer. Mm-hmm. That's a great teaser. Yeah. I don't even want to see anything else, if I'm being honest with you. Like, yes, they'll release another trailer, and yes, we'll watch it. But I, if they don't, I'm fine with just this. Yeah, this I've was... seen enough of the visual stuff to know mm-hmm. that this is going to be. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Boba Fett. I love you, I love you, man. But like, Boba Fett looked like a cheap short film. Mm-hmm. I know people who have short film money. A matter of fact, shout out to um to Star Wars Theory, right? Who had even less of a budget. He put a lot of money into. It. I think he put over seven hundred thousand dollars of his own money mm-hmm. into his Vader into his Vader in uh, short film. Yeah. But even that had higher quality than a whole fully funded episode of Boba Fett. And Boba Fett wasn't even in his own show for most of the time. No. Like, we, this trailer alone already looks more expensive. Yeah. <laughs> like, even, it looks more expensive. And even the fact, you know, I hate comparing because... I hate doing it too, yeah. But just looking at Boba Fett, right? That... You know, he wasn't in it for a majority of the show. We were upset about it because I'm like, okay, well, it just feels like Mandalorian season three Mm. or season two and a half. Yeah. But then you look at this and you see he's not in it for most of the time. And it makes sense. It feels like it's done for a reason. Mm -hmm. The meanwhile, like back in Book of Boba, Boba Fett, excuse me. It was like, okay, but, like, why isn't he here? This show is supposed to be about him. Like, I want to see Boba Fett, but and, then... Yeah, and I get that it was a story. It's a book. A book has many chapters with different characters. Yeah. Half of Dune is not even about Paul. Like, Paul is in, 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 in a lot of it, but, like, there's other chapters dedicated to other characters. There's so many other books where they have dedicated chapters to other characters in the book, and I get that. Mm-hmm. You know, it's called The Book of Boba Fett. But really, really, this is just a segue for The Mandalorian. Yeah. I'm sorry. It is. Like, Book of Boba Fett Season 2, maybe, yes, I'll watch it. You know, it's Star Wars content. Yes, I'll be excited. I'll be happy to see it. I love Fennec as a character. Mm-hmm. But you look at this trailer alone, like, 
just the way how they first of all the tra the construction of the trailer with the sound design and the music and the setup of the trailer felt like an event it felt yeah. like a tr man i really freaking love this trailer this trailer how, how it was done was just beautiful using the blacksmith guy at the top mm -hmm. you know for the backbone of the yeah, drum and then the all. guy ringing the bell it you almost, know, it's just beautiful. Sorry. No, you go ahead. No, it almost yeah. looks like we're seeing new cultures and stuff. That we yeah, have, we man. New, yeah, there. new Star Wars cultures. New like this. That, almost, that's what's exciting. It me. almost looks like new planets. New, yeah, new planets. Like we're gonna and and everything with Mon Mothma as a character too, because I've always found her mysterious and always like we've seen her in Rebels, of course, and things like that. But like. There's her, very little on her. Very little, yeah. And her and Cassian had had a relationship of some sort. You know, so we got to see all this. I mean, yeah, obviously it's the Empire, usual stuff. But... You know, putting that aside. Putting that aside, yeah. you know, new planet, new culture. We got a Scars Garden. This is already, it's already fire. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, it just looks... While Book, Book of Boba Fett look and, looks and feels like it was just on a set, mm -hmm. even though this is made using the same technology, it doesn't feel that way. It has so much depth depth and 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 just you know granted in book of Boba Fett, we were in a desert for pretty much the whole thing yes but like i think a lot of that had to do with how robert rodriguez decided to shoot the thing but anyways yeah it's kind of you know if you guys have watched our reactions to book of Boba Fett, you know we're not like the biggest fans of how was it robert robert book rodriguez, rodriguez yep. we're not big fans of how he did the uh the book of Boba Fett. yeah we liked all of the episodes that he did not direct <laughs> yeah. so and it wasn't even intentional too. Like we no. just, we just, we were just watching, and the next scene it was like, "Oh man, this episode was great. Who did this? Oh, Bryce Dallas Howard. No wonder why." Yeah, <laughs> I'm directing this, but yeah, I don't know who's doing this one either. That's actually, you got it. Yeah, I got it. You, you talk. Yeah, no. So I, we're gonna see. Oh, I'm jealous. Sorry, I just saw this thing. The uh, at the time of the time of us, of us recording this. Um, John Williams is performing the Obi Wan theme for the first time live. Mm. Ah, I wish I was at Star Wars Celebration. I'm one of these, and I gotta get tickets to go to Anaheim. It's gonna be great. Um, and I'm so jealous of all the Star Wars fans over there right now. But anyways, yeah, this just looks and feels different. Endor looks like it's gonna be pretty good, just off of what I'm seeing. Yeah, apparently, it's gonna be like 13 episodes. Of what? No, it's gonna be 12 episodes. I told you. I'm seeing 13. Mm, that's probably something else. They said 12. They confirmed mm. 12. Yeah, it's going to be 12 episodes. That's another thing, too. It's going to be 12 episodes. So hopefully they use that number to their advantage and they just don't do, like, a six-episode thing and rush rush it at the end. I hope we don't I hope we don't have that with this. Yeah. Um. Yeah, don't get worried about that right now. I think we just wrapped yeah, the I'm video. Yeah, I was trying to find it, but anyways, yeah. You know, sorry. So, um, unless you have anything to say, I think we should just wrap this one up. Yeah, no, I just... I think this looks like it's a movie and it's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be good. I'm already interested. Yeah. I'm, this is what I needed to see. So um, hopefully this show makes me more of a Cassian fan. Yeah, it's, I feel like they're pulling me back in now. They're reeling me back. Really? What, back to Cassian? Just, you know, the shows in general. Cause well, I mean, Mando was great. Mando was great. So, I mean, and Bad Batch was good. No, I know, but I'm you saying, know? like, Boba kind of threw me off a bit. You know, so but that... I was like, okay, here you go. We're going to... We're gonna make it better now. But I mean, not, <laughs> but not even Obi Wan though. Well, no, because Obi, you know, I was gonna be excited for Obi Wan no matter what. Yeah, you say that now. Start to bring you back in. I'm like, but Obi Wan's coming out tomorrow. Oh, really? <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. That one's already set. In stone. <laughs> but because that one was, I was gonna be excited about no matter what, even if it is trash, which I highly doubt it will be. But no, it's no. Obi Wan. But we're on a time crunch. We yeah. gotta, we gotta, we gotta wrap this up. Um. So, yeah, we gotta wrap this up. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this. I will see you in the next one. Clockmaster in. Cosmic Banks. Out.